Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show and explain to you how you can debug a SAP query. Here right now, I am in the transaction SQ02, basically in the coding section of the info set. And here I have all used one ABAP code to check the selection criteria. If you would like to get to know more information about checking selection criteria in the ABAP in SAP query, I will link the video I have produced for this use case. But for some cases, when you're using ABAP code in SAP query, um, there can be kind of like some bugs, there can be some errors, and you would like to analyze those errors in the ABAP editor. So how can you basically start the ABAP debugger in SAP query? Normally here we see the ABAP editor and we see this yellow bar on the left hand side and if you click there then normally you set a breakpoint especially in the ABAP editor but in this case then you will get the message you can only set breakpoints in an active unchanged source okay i'm kind of like confused because um, i'm saving my info set i am generating the info set once again i'm um, going one step back here we can see set underscore test info set is yeah is generated is active has a green status so everything seems to be fine so going once again into change then into code and into our end of selection after list section once again this is unfortunately not possible i tried to just um uh, without saving, setting it into display. This is unfortunately not possible as you can see right now. So what kind of alternatives do we have? So going into the transaction SQ01 into our SAP query itself, then selecting our SAP query, in this case set underscore test. Here you can see that the underlying, underlying info set set underscore test is being used and then I would like to execute it or executable with the F8 key. And then basically the easiest way to start the ABAP debugger within the SAP query is to use the command slash H in the command field, in the OK code field. Then hit the enter key. And then you can see right now here the message debugging switched on shows is displayed and your next action that you are doing starts the ABAP debugger and then basically you can analyze the SAP query and we would like to analyze the execution of our SAP query so therefore we click on the execute button or you could also hit the F8 key on your keyboard and then basically here you can see that the ABAP debugger has been started you can analyze the source code and what is kind of really useful you have the globals tab and you can analyze the globals variables in the sap query yeah, you can analyze what's happening in there and so on you can also analyze your additional code and see what's happening in there so this is one way how you can start the debugger. Let's go to our additional coding with the SP dollar, pardon, SP dollar structure. So there we are. What you can also do once you have started the ABAP debugger, for example, with the slash H command, then uh, you can set a breakpoint if you click on the left bar so here for example a sign there you see that the breakpoint is set and with Control s or with this save button you can save the debugger breakpoints as session breakpoints so then you have saved them and then the next time you will start the SAP query without using the command slash H, the debugger will start. So going out of it using the F8 key, then I'm out. And then here you will jump to this section once again, F8. Then you are here and to show you this going back, now, without using slash H, execute the SAP query, and then you will see once again that 
this breakpoint has been caught and the ABAP debugger has been started. So this is one easy way how you can set breakpoints in SAP Query and analyze it. So F8 once again, you have also technically one or another possibility. So go once again into the SQ02 into our info set. What you can do going into code section in the end of selection after list. What you can do, you can use some uh, breakpoint statements. So static breakpoints. So you can use break minus point. Um, I just would like to show you these options, but I don't recommend them. So here, if you have some developer rights, then a breakpoint will be caught and the ABAP debugger will be started. And uh, why shouldn't you use it? Because if you transport your changes into the quality system, into the productive system, um, also the breakpoint will caught and the ABAP debugger will be started. And I think in the productive system, you don't want to have this. So if you forget to remove the, the statement after you're analyzing, you might get into this kind of like trap. Or what you also can do, you simply use a break and then the SAP user, in this case, Andreas G, save it. Um, yes, that's perfectly fine. I would like to generate it. And then going once again into the SQ01, execute it, execute it once again. And then I remove this going with F8. And here you can see that uh, even though I have hit the F8 key, I will go to this line because if we check my SAP user, I have this SAP user and then this is being caught. So going out of it, F8 and immediately remove this statement out of the info set because we should not use it. But I wanted to show you this because it's technically also possible and I rather recommend slash H. So yeah, if you have any questions left, please put them in the comment sections. Please hit the like button and please subscribe to not miss great upcoming videos. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.